All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Breaking Free from MPD with Lizzie. Good morning, good morning, good morning to my tribe. Thank you all for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Again, do not forget to share the live videos. Uh, do not forget to hit the like button, to share, and uh, please remember to hit the bell icon so that way you can receive any of my upcoming content. Uh, I hope it's been a wonderful week thus far for everyone. This is Coach Lizzie. I just want to stop by and share a quick video with you guys. And remember, for free coaching, please hit me up at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com. Again, warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com. And don't forget to leave your phone number in the email. Thank you so much for all you guys that have already contacted Coach Lizzie for free coaching. Uh, I hope that what we shared... Uh, what I shared with you resonated with you. I hope you are doing a wonderful week, having a wonderful week. I'm so excited. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is shining. So forgive me, guys. I want to share a quick video because I don't really have much time uh, this morning. So what I want to share today about um, deadbeat narcissistic parents, deadbeat narcissistic parents. And what I mean by that is I'm talking about those narcissistic parents, those male and female narcissistic parents that don't do anything for their children those narcissistic parents are so selfish and so greedy and so disrespectful that they don't even care about their own children they don't care nothing about their own children and uh hold on guys i'm something smelling a little weird But yeah, some of them don't even care about their own children. Hold on just a second, guys. It's a really weird smell. I have my windows down. But yes, um, what I want to share today is... Um, toxic narcissistic parents those deadbeats the ones that don't do nothing for their children the ones that don't care nothing about their children uh they don't um pay child support they don't try to make sure their children needs are met they don't try to um make sure their kids have everything that they need uh they only care about that new supply and what I mean by care about that new supply, guys, is that they only care about that man and that woman uh, that they're with. They're too busy buying that new supply. They don't have that new supply like they had you because you were doing everything for them. Remember that. But this new supply, that new supply is not going to do everything that you used to do for that narcissist. So they have to buy that, that narcissist. They have to pay for that sex. They have to pay for that time. They paying their bills, they're buying their lunch, they're buying their gas. I mean, they doing everything they possibly can for that narcissist because they got to buy them. They have to show that new supply that they are who they claim they are, even though we know they are liars. They are deceivers. And so they don't do anything for their children. They take the money that they're supposed to be taking care of their children. They take that money and wine and die in the new supply. So uh, kings out there, when you have those female um, deadbeat moms that are narcissists that don't want to take care of their children and took off and left the relationship and took off and left the family or just took off, period, did a disappearing act. Matter of fact, did a Houdini on you. And uh, next thing you know, they're in a new relationship with someone else, which they was already in a relationship with someone else. Please, fellas, be careful. These mothers, they will not help with their children. They will not help take care of the kids. Uh, they will not do what they're supposed to do uh, for their children. They're taking that money, trying to look good for that new supply. They're out there paying for that new supply. She's out there buying her guy dinner. She's out there paying for his, uh, his bills, and she's buying him. And it's going to cost her. But when she was with you, you know, she didn't have to do all those things. You provided everything for her because you loved her. And sisters out there, if you're dating a, narciss a, a, a toxic, narcissistic, deadbeat dad, I'm telling you, they're out there buying that new supply. You did everything uh, for that narcissist. And now they have to uh, do all these things to gain that new supply's trust. 
He's out there paying her bills. He's out there uh, having sex with her. He's doing all kind of things with her. He's trying to keep everything up. He's behind on his own bills. He's struggling, but he's trying to um, wine and dine this woman. And so the money that he should be paying you or giving you for child support for the children, he's out there wine and dining that new supply. And she's going to make him pay for her too. Because remember, she's supposed to be a secret. King, she's supposed to be a secret. He's supposed to be a secret, ladies. And so she's going to, she's going to, um, she's going to dog him in private. And, and, and she's, and he's going to dog her in private. So kings and queens out there, they're out there buying those new supplies. They're out there paying for, for that sex. They're out there paying for that company. They're out there paying for everything. And with you, they didn't have to do any of that. You had everything under control. You were taking care of them. You were providing for them. You were doing everything for them. And now the kids have to suffer because they don't want to help you with anything because they feel like if they help you with the children, they're helping you. They're helping you survive. They're helping you look good. And they can't have that because they're already jealous of you anyway. They already discarded you because you wouldn't um, bow down to their demands. You wouldn't let them control you and manipulate you and mistreat you and talk to you any kind of way. And you wouldn't stick around and give them that narcissistic supply, even though they were abusing you and gaslighting you and trying to control you and um, it was setting you up and running a smear campaign on you. Even though the narcissists do all these things to you, uh, kings and queens, they still want you to be with them. They still want you to be faithful to them. Even though they know they're not faithful to you. Even though they know that they're using you, they still want you to be faithful to them. So when they don't help you with the children, when they don't give you money to help support the children, don't worry about it. Because God is your provider. And God will deal with them. God will make sure that everything that you will do, you're going to get it. And so don't say anything to them. Don't fuss about it. Don't cry about it. You just go out there and you uh, get your game up and you level up and you do what you need to do as a healthy person. You do what you need to do as a narc free person. You do whatever you need to do because that, those children need at least one healthy parent. At least one healthy parent. Okay? A lot of these... Um... Alright guys, finishing up my video. I don't know what happened. Um, but, uh, yeah, those them kids need at least one healthy parent. They got to have at least one healthy parent, uh, in the relation, in, in, the, in the, uh, in the family. So that narcissistic parent, you remember they're, they're not healthy, but you are healthy. So you got to be healthy for those kids because they don't even know what happened. They don't know what's going on. They don't understand why mama walked out or daddy walked out. They don't understand that mama or daddy has a, 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 a disorder, a, um, that, that mommy and daddy can't love and uh, they don't have uh, uh, empathy or compassion. They didn't care about the family. They just walked out and left them for some other man or some other woman. That they don't understand sooner or later they chasing the wind. That that woman or that man that they left their family for, they're not going to be with them. They're just using them right now because they're giving them money and paying their bills and buying gas and buying lunch and doing all these things for them. And that's why they uh, still with them. Because they know that that narcissist is taking care of them. And they're not going to give that up. And remember, that new supply is supposed to be a secret. And so as long as that, uh, that, 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 uh, that new supply is a secret, she or he is going to drain them dry in secret. Because they have to be a secret relationship, remember? Because the narcissist told everybody they left you for another reason. That narcissist told you guys and the family and everyone else that they left you because of you. Because of something you've done. But it's nothing that you've done. They're covering up the reason why. But you know. So if you're dealing with a narcissistic, deadbeat mother or father, don't even worry about it. Take care of your own children. Level up. God is going to provide. God is going to make sure that that narcissist give you everything just do. You just sit back and you just wait. Because they're not going to continue to keep doing what they're doing. And so you just stay faithful. And take care of yourself. Coach Liz just wants to stop by and let you guys know that. Level up. Take care of your children. You're going to be just fine. Let that deadbeat narcissistic parent go because they will soon be exposed for who they really are. And you all have a great day. And don't forget to take care of your children because that's what God intended for you to do. He entrusted us with those little souls. Have a great day.